Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Import Export Hub channel everybody, Bias Bogdan here, your host for uh, the next uh, 10 minutes or so. Thanks for joining me by the way, I hope you are all doing great and uh, without losing precious time here chit-chatting, allow me to show you Egypt's export dynamics for the last uh, 5 years with uh, 2023 as the reference year if you want. And I will show you the top uh, 20 headings with the largest absolute positive changes followed by those with the largest absolute negative ones and towards the end of uh, the video the top 20 headings with the lowest uh, variability basically a ratio between the standard deviation and the average on a value basis which is a pretty good indication, uh, predictor if you want, uh, where Egypt has a competitive advantage. So first things first, I will start with Egypt's uh, top 20 headings that saw the largest absolute positive um, changes. And uh, we see here that uh, flat rolled products of iron or non-alloy steel, so heading 7208, um, so the largest uh, change, some $405 million for 2023, bars and rods uh, again of iron or non-alloy steel, so the second uh, largest absolute change with some $346.5 million, while wheat or meslim flour took the third spot with some $244.8 million uh, positive change, uh, 167 uh, percent uh, change in relative terms from the previous year bringing thus the overall wheat flour exports for uh, 2023 to some 391 million dollars which is the largest figure in this 2019-2023 time frame and uh, if I look carefully, it's more than double than the average value exported until 2022. We see here copper wire, we see gold, so heading 7108. Insulated wire is also present here with an absolute positive change of $191 million. Uh, cane or beet sugar follows with almost the $175 million change. What else do we have? We have monumental or building stone natural with a positive change of $164 million. We have uh, carpets, so heading 5702, citrus fruits, uh, fresh or dried uh, is also present, so heading 0805 with a positive change of some $116 million. Cement follows and towards the end of this list we see, I don't know, pasta, whether or not cooked with a positive change of almost uh, 69, uh, 60 million dollars. Then we have articles of iron or steel and the top 20 um, list ends with uh, structures and parts of structures, so heading 7308 who saw a $55 million positive change, a 38% uh, year-on-year increase, bringing the overall exports from uh, this heading to some $215 million, uh, also the largest value for this time frame. And uh, guys, briefly looking at this list, uh, the first thing that I see is that almost all the chapters have a positive compound annual growth rate for the last five years, except for heading 7108, so gold, who had a contraction, with even more impressive year-on-year -year, uh, changes, if you look carefully. So this is a good thing, as Egypt is uh, exploiting its strategic location at the crossroads between the east-west and north-south flows. And uh, the second observation is that chapter 72, so iron and steel is pretty diversified, uh, counting three headings. It's followed by chapter 25, so salt, sulfur, earth and stone, lime and cement with uh, two headings. And the same goes through for chapter 73, so articles of iron and steel, again with two subheadings. And I could add the third observation, which is that unfortunately all these headings are not positioned further down the value chain. 
somehow missing opportunities for value-added activities done in Egypt locally, but uh, my guess is that uh, this is going to change in the next 5 to 10 years if Egypt uh, wants to diversify its export base in an organic way and, uh, I don't know, not just uh, exploiting its strategic location. Anyway, uh, guys, time will tell how things are going to unfold. In the meantime, I will cover Egypt's uh, top 20 chapters with the largest absolute negative change this time in uh, 2023. And uh, the largest change happened in relation with petroleum gas. So heading to 711, who registered the $7.3 billion contraction. Petroleum oils followed with a 3.2 billion dollars decrease while mineral fertilizers uh, closed the podium let's say with some 897 million dollars contraction bringing the overall exports for 2023 to some 1.86 billion dollars and then we see i don't know ammonia in this top 10 list polyacetals is also present so heading 3907 we see also polymers of ethylene uh, carpets is also present with a contraction of 88 million dollars uh, what else do we have we see cotton neither carded nor combed and towards the end of the list this list we see garments made up of felt or non-wovens with a 31.2 million dollars contraction polymers of polypropylene follows and on the 20th spot we see t-shirts so heading 6109 with a 58.6 million dollars contraction bringing the overall exports here for 2023 to some 537 million dollars and again guys briefly briefly looking at this list uh, it immediately strikes me the number of uh, commodity related headings so petroleum plastics and um, fertilizers basically but uh, given their nature this volatility is normal so nothing worrying here even though if we look at the compound annual growth rate uh, changes uh, column there are some double digit contractions uh, the most worrying if you ask me being the line concerning heading 5701 so carpets and other textile floor coverings who suffered quite a lot in 2023 bringing the compound annual growth rate for the last five years to a negative 31 percent Otherwise, I don't see big threats for the foreseeable future. So guys, with uh, this uh, being covered as well, I'll now move to Egypt's top 20 headings where it has a competitive advantage and uh, from my calculations, uh, here we see that manufactured tobacco had the lowest variability in terms of exported values for uh, this 2019-2023 uh, timeframe. Sanitary towels followed, even though the compound annual growth rate is slightly negative. And on the third spot here, we see suits and brats with a coefficient of variation of 0.0586 and an overall export value for 2023 around $23 million. We see furniture and parts thereof. Paints and varnishes follows. We see grapes, uh, fresh or dried here with a coefficient of variation of 0.084 and uh, $290 million worth of exports for 2023, which is the largest value in this top 20 list. We see toilet paper, glass fibers is also present here, so heading 7019. Essential oils is next with a coefficient variation of 0.0929. Uh, bed linen and table linen is also present. Uh, let's not forget the cotton industry in Egypt. And uh, towards the end of uh, the, um, this list, um, we see live animals. So heading 0106. Uh, preparations for the use on the hair is on the 19th place with a coefficient of variation of 0.1038 and uh, on the 20th spot we see heading 1602 uh, so prepared or preserved meat with a coefficient of variation of 0.1052 
and an overall export value of eight million dollars so the smallest amount in this top 20. so again what can i tell you about egypt's uh, competitive advantage when looking at these um, headings <laughs> well not much really except maybe for the fact that i see a lot of unique chapters so we have uh, we are not talking about industry clusters per se chapter 33 is an exception here and we are talking about essential oils and uh, resinoids perfumery cosmetic or toilet preparations who we see here had uh, three headings in this top 20 list some eight million dollars cumulatively in terms of exports for 2023 not that much but uh, nonetheless important so uh, these are my observations guys uh, please treat this uh, information with care absolutely it's just a rough estimate a starting point if you want in your research so pay attention and of course dig deeper in order to have better insights and uh, guys with this being said that's all for today i hope i've managed to provide you with some useful information don't forget to hit those small vanity buttons below this uh, video and as always until next time keep your business safe thanks